All right, let me explain to you guys something about limousines. This is in response to my limousine story time. A lot of the comments in that video are throwing around the R word, saying that that guy forced those women to do what he did. Why didn't I step in? Sounds like I didn't care. Like all these different comments. When you rent a limo, it's kind of like renting a hotel room. It is a private room. So if they want that divider up, the divider goes up. Unless we feel an imminent threat or they're destroying the limo, we cannot cancel the contract. The man in my limo was not heavily intoxicated. The women were not heavily intoxicated. They were coherent. They were fine. When he said, I'm effing you tonight, they laughed about it. They said, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. It wasn't anything forced on them. When they got out of the limo at the casino, they had smiles on their faces. When I told her I found her underwear, she laughed about it and said, thank you. So as far as I'm concerned as the driver, you could be back there doing lines off a stripper's ass and I can't do anything about it.